Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we will continue our journey, and I'm thinking we're going to head over to Hateno Village, um, just as Impa instructed, uh, in order so we can continue with the story. And uh, we're going to probably go see uh, her sister, Pora, so she can help us uh, with our Sheikah Slate. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back to this stable, uh, get our horse over there, and then... Uh, continue on the road from there because I think that'll be a little faster so see you then okay here we are with uh, subscribe here our horse and um, yeah we're just gonna continue on the road uh, this point is Hateno village and uh, we can't see the whole map but I'm just gonna continue down the road here and uh, I'll see you when we're getting close Wow yeah check this out this huge almost destroyed wall with all these guardians I believe this is Fort Hateno and uh, just in front of Hateno, yep, Fort Hateno, yeah, it's so amazing. Uh, this wall is so decrepit from uh, all the, you know, damage from a hundred years ago. Uh, yeah, it's just real interesting. Hmm, look, there's somebody just standing here. Let's see what they want. Oh, hello. I can tell you're trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga Clan? Yiga Clan? What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The Yiga Clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors, founded by Master Koga, and dedicated to defeating a hero thought long dead. I will take your life. Well, that guy was not very friendly. Oh, thought I'd get the flurry there. There we go, we got him. And mighty bananas and rupees. So yeah, those are the uh, the Yiga clan members. They're uh, scattered around Hyrule, and if you talk to them, uh, sometimes or well, if they are a Yiga clan member, they'll attack you. So, and uh, he dropped his vicious sickle. It's actually a good weapon. Actually, this is about to break. So, will this blow that up? Nope. Okay, not strong enough. But all right. Well, yeah, that was a Yiga clan member. So that's one of the first we'll encounter of many. So, uh, we'll continue on to Hatena Village. Well, I've made my way uh, over to the... Uh, oh, hello. Tower over here. Um, currently around here, almost to, to, to Hateno, But I want this chunk of the map. Um, but it's currently raining and the tower is covered in thorns. And normally you burn the thorns, but they're wet. So, uh, gotta wait. But in the meantime, I can... Sneak strike this guy. Actually, yeah, I can walk normally because he can't hear in the rain. But I'll just be extra safe. Pow. Okay, that's one. Two. I'll take that. Three. Yep. And the rain just stopped, so perfect. So we'll just use fire arrows, I guess, because normally I think this is lit. But, um, because it just rained, it's not, so we'll just take our bow and shoot some fire arrows right around there. Hopefully that'll be enough to spread. Wait, really? It's not gonna spread? Oh, brother. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's try right there. Okay. That's a big area. Hopefully it'll spread elsewhere. No? Oh, okay. Here we go. Finally. Come on. Climb up the tower. Oh yeah, that's right. I can actually use... Oops. <laughs> I can use the uh, heat from the fire as an updraft. That might actually help with making it. Oh yeah, it is called the Hateno Tower. Okay, yep, it's it's going up. There we go. Oh, while that's burning, I'll just start climbing. There we go. Alright, just barely. Alright, next piece of the map has been acquired. All right. Yep, we can see Hetano Village uh, on the map now. That's where the uh, glowing dot is. Oh, yeah, actually, we can see it from the tower. That's amazing. Let's see, can I zoom in? Yep, there's the village. And we want to make it over there. Let's just put a pin. There we go. Cool. And actually, let's see, can I make it over to those moblins? I want to see what they got. And how? Oh, jeez! I destroyed the platform. 
Well, I guess we're not getting that chest. But I can at least get that bow. I definitely want that bow. Oh my, there's like a forest of baddies. Alright, Hatano Village, here we are. Whoa, what? Jeez, relax, bro. Not a monster. Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. I'm a traveler. Hmm? You certainly do appear to be a Hylian, like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folk, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Uh, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Sheesh. You think they'd welcome new people or something? I don't know. But uh, Hitano Village, yeah, it does have a lot of nice things. Like this store here uh, lets you uh, dye your clothes if you want. I never really ever do because I just like the way they normally look. But uh, first, I think we'll uh, go ahead and get the shrine uh, so we can teleport here whenever we want. And just for the spirit orb, of course. Alright, here we are at the Hitano Research Lab, I believe it is. Uh, or Hitano Ancient Tech Lab, that's it. Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. Well, there is no flame, so we'll have to see about that. Okay, uh, let's see if anybody can help us here. Uh, hello. Good evening. This is the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Alright. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it... I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, uh, Magnesis, yes, yes. The Remote Bomb, and Cryonis, and what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but, hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, uh, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name? <laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah Slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of rest restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. <sighs> Director. Listen, Miss Director, this is a real Sheikah Slate. Director? I thought you were the Director. Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our Director. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check, Check it. I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. Oh, that uh, on that note, Link. You see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. <laughs> hey, hey! Are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me! Snappity snap. <laughs> anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the Slumber of Restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. <laughs> Linky, what's with that look? Do you still remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though, a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember. Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years in the Slumber of Restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? 
Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Uh, yes please. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Alright then, first I need you to run an errand for me. What's with the look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post-slumber restoration subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the laboratory? Could you please bring the blue frame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Hmm, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Okay, well, good thing I got a torch, so let's go see if we can get that blue flame. Where was it? Oh, I think that's the furnace right there. Okay, so we just gotta get it from there all the way to here. Okay, well, let's give it a try. Thankfully, according to the forecast, it's gonna be clear, not rainy, because fire does not burn in rain. Alright, so all I gotta do is get this lit and go back up there. Thankfully, uh, there are these little torch checkpoints in case um, my torch goes out, so I can just run back to these instead of the furnace itself. So I'll be right back once I get all the way up there. Alright, here we are, so let's just light this. Alright, now we can teleport here too. Hatino Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. Ah, Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over here. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. Meh, my sweet little Guidance Stones. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Snap? Hmm, that was pretty weak, but that's okay. Okay then. Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and album missing files confirmed. Starting repair. Camera, instantly render a visible image into a picture. Hmm, looks like we already have some pictures. Hyrule Compendium. And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, Album? Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Alright. Well, here we are. Uh, smile. There we go. Looks good. Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? I took one. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see it, let me see. There you go. Hmm. My, who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Now, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of these places where these pictures were taken. Oh right, 
the last memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. My hunch is correct. I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Well, I actually have some now, so let's see if we can do it now. Snap. Something on your mind? Something good? Aha, I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. You'll need three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs. And you'll need three ancient cores to power up stasis. If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. Alright, let's see, what do we have? Um, we have... Ah, two shafts. Are you kidding me? Alright, well... We have screws, so at least I can do the Chica sensor. Hey, I think you should go see Impa first, but if you're saying you already have some ancient materials, then why don't we go ahead and power up your Chica sleep? So, ancient materials. Now then, in exchange for those ancient materials, I'll power up a rune on your Chica slate. I'm game. So, which rune do you want to power up? The Chica sensor. Chica sensor power up time. Yahoo! For that, three ancient screws should do the trick. Okay. Three ancient screws and a cute snap. Here I go. Snap. Yeah, hey, got it. Okay then, Sheikah sensor upgrade, underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Sheikah sensor plus, searching for compendium items. If your sensor has been augmented to search for things other than shrines, it'll react when you clo are close to the thing you have set it to look for. Head in the direction where the re reaction is strongest, and you should be able to find the thing you are looking for. All right, yeah, it is a very helpful thing if you're uh, looking for a specific material or even an enemy. But you do have to have a picture of it in order for it to uh, be findable. <laughs> Yahoo! My little guidance stone did the trick. Oh, the Sheikah Sensor Plus. I really want to see it. Yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing Simon that spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later? Okay. So yeah, we still need uh, two or one more shaft and then three cores, which are very rare. So we'll uh, see what Simon wants. Yeah. Good evening. You've acquired that Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. Explaining won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sunshroom with the camera. Here's, uh, there is one behind the lab. Alright. So we got the camera rune. And here it is. So, sunshroom. That looks good. Okay. And I won't pick it up. I think it needs to still be there. So... Talk to Simon. Ah, were you able to take a picture of the sundrum? Yes. Let me confirm. It seems like you got a picture of a sundrum. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of the sundrum. The, the Sheikah Sensor Plus will then be able to send sundrums. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. This seems like a nice opportunity to ask if you've if you'd mind bringing me three sunshrooms. You can find sunshrooms growing in Ret Sam Forest, I believe. The Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it a snap. Alright, well, we'll do that later, but we at least can just grab this one. It's actually our first. It's a helpful mushroom. It lets you uh, stay warm in cold uh, climates, so certainly helpful. So, um, let's see then. So we got our Sheikah Sensor Plus, and now we need to return to Impa. So I guess uh, I'll just go ahead and teleport there, uh, since it's so simple. So see you there. Okay, here we are back in Kakariko Village, and we'll go say hello to Impa. Mm. Hmm? I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you s seem just fine. How did you know? What do you guys have, like, texting in ancient Hyrule? 
Now then, let me see. And here's some of the pictures that were already in there. Aha, this is, without a doubt, the camera that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. It's a beautiful picture. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of these locations. There's something I wish to give you. Alright, so let's take a look at these pictures. Um, okay, so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, so twelve. Hmm, lots of these seem kind of vague. We can see, like, Hyrule Castle in this one, and in this one, and a nice flower field, so those might be easy. This is pretty obvious, um, if we can find this horse statue. Uh, there's a nice structure here. This looks like one of the springs. Uh, this looks like it's in the castle, or in the courtyard anyway. This looks like the desert, oasis. And lots of these are uh, just kind of foresty, but I do know where they are, so um, I'll go, uh, I think I'll go to this one or this one. Maybe we'll just do the first one, uh, this here, so I'll be right back once we get there. Hmm, well, 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 looks like we found Hestu again. Shakalaka. So we meet again. I want to go home to Korok Forest, but I've lost my way. According to the folks at the stable, this area is central Hyrule. That means Korok Forest is still much farther north. Well, since I'm already here, I may as well stay a while and relax. Ah, wait a minute. I'd know that smell anywhere. It's a Korok Seed. You've collected a Korok Seed from the Forest Children, haven't you? If you give me Korok Seeds, I'll expand one of your stashes. Which one will it be? Let's do Shield Stash. I'll just need one Korok Seed. Deal? Yes. Here you go. Let the expansion begin. As maracas are blue this time for the shields. Alright, five. Because yeah, four is pathetic. Alright. So then, Aden Den. Do you want to expand another stash? Uh, yeah, let's do another shield. I wonder how many he'll let me do. Hmm? I think I remember how to get back to Korok Forest. Maybe I'll head back now. I bet Grandpa is waiting for me. Thanks for the Korok seeds. I'm off to Korok Forest. Come visit me there sometime. Alright, so I guess that means he won't let me expand any further. Okay. Well, we got uh, three more shield stashes, one more bow stash, and one more weapon stash. So, really needed shield stashes, though. So, that's great. Thank you. Test you. Alright, let's do this shrine real quick, and then we'll continue on uh, over to that memory spot. Okay, I was making my way over to the central tower, and um, there is a guardian, a full-fledged guardian here, so let's see if we can take him out. Okay, we're gonna have to use our ancient sword, because uh, if you didn't know ancient weapons, one shot the guardian legs, and when a leg is lost, it does 100 damage. So yeah, he's almost dead. There we go. Alright, now you need to die. Right, please give me a core for all that. Seriously? No core? Alright, that's another. Oh, let's go! An ancient core and a giant ancient core. Oh, man. Of course, when I'm not recording, I do three perfect parries and uh, kill the Guardian easily, so... Oh well, we got the materials, though. That's what matters. Not my skill level while recording. Alright, we made it. Alright, so now we can get the central Hyrule uh, map piece on our map. Alright. And yeah, now we can see Hyrule Castle on the map. And that little fountain in the center there, that's where we need to go for the memory. So, uh, should just be one wind bomb away. Okay, here we are at the memory point. As you can see, there's this uh, glowing area that indicates that's your, that you're in the right spot. 
But I want to deal with these guardians first, so let's give it our best. So basically, the best thing to do is let them get close to you. Line up like this, and for the wait for the beep, and just press the button r uh, for parrying right after the beep. And as long as they don't do a slow one, you'll get it every time. Slow ones are only for master mode. Come on. Yes! Alright! And I got it on camera. Let's go. Three easy parries, and... Let's see. Give me an ancient core. Nope. Just parts. Okay. Well, there's one more over there. Come on, buddy. I just want to kill you. Here we go. Alright. You saw me. Wait for the beep. Press A. And do it three more times. Alright, that's two. And he'll wiggle around, but he'll always stop. And that's it. And if there's like a little bit of health left, just shoot him in the eye with an arrow. Um, yeah, come on. Nope, just parts. No cores? Guys, come on, I need ancient cores. Well, we'll uh, head into Castletown if we have to, but let's go get this memory. Alright, let's recall this memory. So this area is from the picture, and Link should see it as fu somewhat familiar. Yep, this is definitely the spot. Chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight, the sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. We pray for your protection, and we hope that that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. Forged in the long distant past. The sword Gee, this is uplifting. Ancient. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. Wow, yeah, what a memory. That's such a uh, great send-off for the Hero of Time. Alright, so that's our first memory of 12. So uh, next we're going to go over to Impa to let her know that we've had our first memory. But uh, first I do want to see if I can get some more Guardian parts. So uh, we'll be heading into Castletown. Not into Hyrule Castle, though. Alright, we got him. Okay, please drop something good, please. Yes, a core. Okay, I believe we need one more. Uh, yep, two cores. We need one more. All right. Wakey, wakey. Time to kill you. Come on, break your leg. Okay, that was enough. Ha! <laughs> Flipped him right over perfectly. Wow, that is funny. Physics in this game still make me laugh sometimes. Three. Ooh, he delayed it. Oh, but I still got it. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Come on, give me a core. No core. Okay, maybe the weaker ones don't drop cores. I don't know. Three. Please, come on, give me something good. Yes! One more core. Alright, that's three. Now we can upgrade the rest of our runes. Also, there was this wall broken here. I just blew it up. What's in this chest? 
Oh, 50 more rupees. I'll happily take it. Alright, so I think we'll go over to Pura for the rune upgrades and then back to Impa. Alright, I'm back. Good morning. Did you bring any ancient materials? I did. Remote Bomb Plus. Powered up bombs now have a stronger blast and recharge faster. The force of the blast can damage monsters or destroy objects. There are round end cube bombs, so use whichever best fits the situation. So yeah, bombs now do more damage and come back faster. That's probably the best part, is the faster recharge. Alright, Stasis Plus. This powered up Stasis Rune can now stop time on evil creatures, which is huge. So now we can actually freeze enemies instead of just uh, objects. So that is really helpful in combat. <laughs> Yahoo! My little guidance stone did the trick. Hmm, what's this? Perhaps you already went and powered up them all up. Well, I suppose with your Sheikah Slate and your legendary swordsmanship, we have nothing to fear. Yes, quite. Nothing at all. Not even Calamity Ganon. Alright. So yeah, now we have Remote Bomb Plus and Stasis Plus. So let's head on over back to Kakariko Village to talk to Impa. Okay, Impa, I'm back again. I have claimed my first memory. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now, before I forget. The Champion's Tunic. In ancient Hyrule, this garment could only be worn by one who had earned the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe, by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Alright, and that's the reason why you want to talk to her after getting your first memory, because this tunic is the best armor in the game. When upgraded all the way, it uh, does 32 defense, which is the highest ever. So, plus it looks great. It's Link's tunic, and uh, it does reveal enemy health, which is nice. So, with that, thank you all very much for watching this video on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Please uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, do subscribe and hit that bell because I'm making a full series out of this before Tears of the Kingdom. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you later.